So it's Saturday night. We've had a really busy day with the outdoor area um, earlier on today and literally just finished within an hour ago. So it's currently quarter past eight. I'm just going to set up for mum's birthday tomorrow. I've kind of got everything prepped, ready to roll in the morning. So i um, really, really excited. So I thought I'd just show you what I've kind of set up or what I'm going to set up tonight. And I'm really going to try and do this vlog thing and then continue tomorrow. So just on this side, I've just got some snacks that I'm going to set out tomorrow. So I've got some sea salt and balsamic vinegar chips and just some original sea salt. I went to Donut King this afternoon and got some of the mini donuts that are really sweet that I thought I could bring out when the cake comes out. I've prepped some lime cordial that I'll put in the fridge to chill overnight. This is ready for some iced water tomorrow. I've got some dinner rolls here that I'm going to warm up to begin lunch with with some butter. I've got some chocolate peanuts here. Some biscuits for tea and coffee later in the afternoon and my stuffing to go with the roast. In the fridge area, I've just got some like Lyft Sprite and there's the cordial chilling. And then I've got some Moscato and I've got some pineapple juice and Pepsi. I like to have a variety of drinks to share when people are over. I've also got like all my veggies and stuff for the roast vegetables and salads that I'm making. I've got some pork and lamb that I'll be flavoring and slow roasting for around the four Four and a half hour mark tomorrow do have a little bit of nibblies here i'm not sure if we're going to be using nibblies because there's going to be quite a big lunch but we're going to see how we go and i'll bring them out late in the afternoon if needs be then on this side of the kitchen i've just got some gifts from shane and i so i've got mama vanilla scented candle some flowers and some lint mixed chocolates that i thought were nice um me and the family have also put in for her to have a laptop for her birthday but just wanted to have her something on arrival from us then over here i've just got some decorations and things for the table and her birthday candles here my nana's bringing the cake tomorrow um, i chose a maple cupcake scented candle to use tomorrow i thought it was a nice little like birthday one then just for the family i've got that for my older brother because he likes lint my younger brother likes these pocky things i got him a couple of them and then my two grandparents i got them some ferrero rochers each just to have them over again it's their first time coming over so just something cool and sweet to do then heading over to the dining area um we've just got three fold up chairs at the back there so we can all sit around the table together um i'm going to cover this with a black tablecloth throw some confetti on it going to keep the flowers on the table and then i just got this like little platter plate but i'm actually going to use it to put my candle on so thank you taylor for that little idea and um then i will just kind of set it up now show you it before bed i'm hoping to go to bed by like 9 30 10 the latest and um yes yeah, so i'll be back in a sec so tomorrow shane's gonna help me hang these decorations up probably with the blinds down just so we can probably use it as like a photo backdrop so i've just put the tablecloth on i've put all the confetti on i've put the napkins there which I have this really nice pink swirly pattern on them and then the flowers and then that's just the setup and I'll light the candle tomorrow. Um, but that's just the table. By the way, this is the candle on the table and it smells really good from dusk. And then maple cupcake is this candle here and I'm gonna be swapping this caramel popcorn one and putting this one in the kitchen and then just having this one in the corner tomorrow. So I've just pulled out some bowls and plates, things to use tomorrow because in the morning I'm getting up early to do some more food prep. So there'll be a few more things I'll have to bring out, but I just wanted to kind of help myself out and pre-organize things. My cleaning done today, so that's a big tick off my list. I normally do cleaning daily, so I'm never someone who personally has to like do really big cleans when something is happening or someone's coming over. So that's a really good thing that I like that I actually do. Um, but that's definitely a big thing off my list and Tomorrow is really just focusing on all the rest of the cooking and setting up. So really excited. Um, just going to be fun cleaning everything at the end of the day because there's going to be a lot to clean. So that's fun. Uh, yeah, but, you know, as long as everyone has a good time, that's the main thing. So pretty much that is everything that I wanted to get organized for tonight. Um, there's a whole lot more I've got to do tomorrow. So I'm going to run you through some food prep that I'm doing when the family comes in throughout the day, all the little celebrations, gifts. All that type of stuff, all those details will be in tomorrow's part, but that's a little bit of a night before thing. Um, it is now about five to nine, so I'm going to get ready for bed, have my shower, hit the hay, and I'll be up early in the morning and back at it. So see you then. So the oven's on and I've just prepped the pork 
and the lamb. So the pork's just got um, olive oil, salt and garlic. And then we have garlic, salt, mixed herbs, rosemary and a little bit of garlic salt for the lamb and olive oil. Got my lighter here and I'm just going to go around now and light all the candles. Number one in the kitchen is this caramel popcorn one. Then heading over here to maple cupcake, which I thought was the nicest birthday scent for today in the lounge room. And then at the dining table here, I also just put my cutlery bucket there this morning that wasn't there last night, is this one here, which is um, water flower and coconut, I'm pretty sure. And it smells really beautiful, which is just a nice little decor piece for the table. One thing that I forgot to do last night was write mom's card. Uh... <laughs> just like doing the little things so i put the candles on i've prepped the roasts they are in the oven they'll be on for about four and a half hours which is perfect time for lunch um so i got up at quarter past seven this morning um got changed around eight o'clock and um yeah so i'm just kind of really waiting for people to arrive but still doing little things in the meantime plenty of time before anyone turns up but so far so good it is the 24th of may it's sunday and happy birthday mum Five minute break, we need a coffee, so I'm just kind of quickly making one for me and Shane and then back to it. If we didn't have coffee, I actually don't know how we would survive. Well, me anyway. And you assured us, yes, this is joyful. So just while I'm up on top of this mountain here, um, if you heard that really like noisy thing in the first few parts of the video, um, we had the vacuum going, so sorry about that. So I've chosen on these rose gold glasses here for today. I will be having the plain one. Everyone else can have the pretty ones because I only have six of them. Um, so these are actually from Kmart. So just placed all those glasses on the table so everyone can just kind of sit down and have their own cup. Obviously, I'll be sitting there, plain Jane. <laughs> so the meats are coming along nicely. So I've actually got a list here that I'm keeping to refer to so I don't forget about anything. I think one of the most annoyingest things when you're arranging something is that everyone leaves you like, oh, I forgot to bring this out. So my younger brother and my nonna will be coming a little earlier than everyone else. Um, everyone else is coming at 12.30. But in this uh, vlog, I'm just going to include doing a little bit of cooking with them. So I'm going to get them to kind of help me with like the vegetables and maybe a couple of other things, see how we go, uh, just to kind of get them involved and interacting. So that's something coming up soon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, prep these veggies and kind of just let them soak in the water and chuck them in the oven a little bit later just to roast become nice and soft and just um, get the flavors from the meat as well so I'm just gonna jump in to do that <laughs>
someone coming. Christian! Hello! Hi! Nice! How are you? Hello! Hi, Nancy! Hello! How are you? Has brought us something here from Frank's Cakes. No, no, I can't even open this. Uh, be careful, be careful. I just made this morning. Ah. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, no, no. A cannoli, Italian cannoli, you know that is happiness in a box. You know what she said to me? What? She said that, I said, you know, I talked to my granddaughter, she said that, you know, it's an extra one for you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Nonna. Vegetables are in the oven. What you got? Happy birthday. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having us, Tom and Shane. Hi. Aaron, hi. Nonna, hi. Hello, Mom. Happy birthday. Hi, Nana. Hi, Daddy. So, Nana's just making the stuffing at the moment. That is her specialty. She always has stuffing. <laughs> so, so, Nana's making some gravy for the roast. The peas is almost done. And the cauliflower and broccolini and garlic is almost done as well. <laughs> Celebrate, celebration, celebrate, 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 celebrate,
<laughs> that is a wrap. It was a nice busy day, but mum had a lot of fun and so did the rest of the family. So just going to finish cleaning up, but thank you everyone else for helping me clean some things too. Appreciate it. Happy birthday, mum. Hope you had a great day.